Welcome back for the new edition of Vector Wednesday Tutorials. I'm Frank, and today we'll be covering gradient mesh blending slash patching. So stay tuned and we'll get started. requested tutorial gradient mesh blending requested by all of one person which is Gerald John Fernandez so thank him for this tutorial uh, he wrote me and wanted the blending tutorial I say blending because blending slash patching and you'll see why I call it patching in a second but I started off the same way with a rectangle <clears throat> start my shaping and I sped it up a bit because this is not important for the actual gradient mesh blending but I just want you to see me going through through the tutorial actually doing the work but I went ahead and uh, I did go ahead and add the lips to the picture and I guess I'm gonna just work on this whole project and just record it piece by piece and after I get done with this I'll just go to just random hopefully voted on tutorials requested by you the viewer yeah but I would love for you guys to take part in this process so you can get the tutorials that you want and I won't be just doing gradient mesh tutorials I'll also be just doing just vector based tutorials um, how to draw characters or whatever you want to see so if you request it, I'm going to try my best to get it done for the new show on Wednesday. And I want it to be about uh, the audience. So, But going through with this, uh, doing the nose, it, it was very tedious. And you see here I got to a point without the nostrils, but there was a lot of detailed work that had to be put into this, to this piece. I had to zoom in quite a bit. I wanted to get the details right for the most part and just it was time consuming when I added the lips the lips I added them on the same mesh as the face so that took about three hours I could have patched the lips or blended the lips the way I'm doing this nose but I just chose to do it the way just put it on the first mesh but as I finish up this piece uh, right now you see I'm starting to draw my black shape for my mask because I'm creating an opacity mask just like in Photoshop what's covered in black will show through the mask and I'm just shaping it so just bear with me with my horrible pen tool work I'm doing now I'm using my Wacom tablet for the first time to create gradient meshes so it's kinda tricky for me but now that I got that piece created I'm gonna uh, select it which is already selected and I'm gonna go to uh, go create a Gaussian blur I think I did it at 3% now I'm gonna select <clears throat> I'm gonna do an adjustment right here and after that I'm gonna select both pieces together and I got my transparency tool pulled up from the Windows menu And from that transparency tool, I'm going to select the side side arrow, the sidebar, and go to Opacity Mask. So now i got both pieces selected. I'm going to go to Make Opacity Mask. And that's done. And when I click back on it, I'm going to have to click that Invert Mask so the part that was covered in black will show. And that's basically it for patching and meshing. And you can do this uh, with different parts of the face, even the eyes, the eyebrows, or even you can do the lips. Just uh, create the lips and blend them in as, as you've seen in this video. But if you have any questions, send me an email or leave a comment in the section below. And as always, until next time, peace.